Hi everyone thanks for tuning into another episode of D education in this episode we have a very special guest with us hi jashwant welcome to D education hi tej thanks for having me here so jashwant how was your day so far man well it's great i had really good sleep and it is weekend so i'm ready in the mood perfect so if you could give a brief about yourself to our viewers out there yeah sure uh starting with i'm jashwant buta i'm design researcher as of now uh i had my masters in design from indian institute of science bangalore and before that i was working as an architect so that's wonderful so in this video we're going to be talking about iisc and your journey throughout your specialization in product design and manufacturing so folks whoever is watching this video the whole purpose of this video is to help you know about this course and help you connect with jashwan who is there to help you and mentor you to get into iisc so if you could tell a brief about what exactly is iisc and what was your masters program about jashwan yeah so to give a brief about iisc actually the their vision uh, which is there it defines everything uh, they are, they are into uh, creating uh, designs that are systematically complex and technologically intensive and uh, they, it needs to create some impact it is not like yeah i created something it is beautiful it is innovative no it needs to create some impact that is the main intent uh, behind the design course at iisc uh, so it is throughout a high intensive product design uh, where the work is hands on and uh, main idea is to expose designers uh, or budding designers uh, to aspects of design research approaching users and uh, identifying their needs and even looking into the business aspect so that actually we can uh, create businesses out of the designs or innovations uh, we came up with that's wonderful So why did you choose IIS instead of an IIT or NID for your master's program? So one thing uh, I I I'm actually looking into the courses uh, which these institutions are providing and uh, two things uh, two specific things that catch my eye uh, like I'm going through courses what are these institutions providing no every institute is an allied but then what are they bringing to the table for me and two two courses that stood out is uh, creative engineering design where it is a methodological process of uh, design research and uh, next is a uh, new product development where this course takes us through the nuances of seeing into the technological aspects where technology is at the present state and how we can create business out of it so I, i was having discussions with few people which uh, gave overview of these courses and yeah that is where i chose iisc that's wonderful so jashwant if you could talk about your experience there how was the college program like and what sort of a faculty experience you had in the college that could help our viewers out with so main intention for me to join a design school from architecture even back there i'm working on design uh just that i am designing only physical spaces but uh i i want to create more impact and uh i felt iisc fits the well and actually it did fit well uh two two things stood out one is people another is place uh speaking about the people top cream not in the country but in the world uh frankly speaking my personally my experience my faculty advisor and gracefully he is my uh project guide even uh he is one of the top design researchers in the world and the clarity he gives to us the way he teaches the concepts and uh, <clears throat> that is that is like unparalleled uh to what we actually find in the market uh it is not about learning few tools but it is more about it is more about developing our uh, developing the methodologies like how we approach certain things If 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 I am in a gray area where I don't have anything, how I am going to approach that problem or that need? How I how my skills are going to catch it? That is the main thing I le- learned over there. 
there is nowhere i remember throughout my uh, institutional experience uh, that okay the, my professors are saying this is the tool kit you need to follow nowhere that they they are telling me how to approach things uh, things are not static they are dynamic uh, context changes aspirations of people changes the market we are addressing changes and it is uh, the mindset that that caters to this dynamic things and uh, my my experience at iisc is almost around developing this mindset and uh, how i can confidently dwell into these things and uh, pick out the pain points address them to methodological approach actually a very disciplined approach yeah that, that is my experience and yeah i i, I have to mention this person he is amresh chakravarty uh he, he he teaches uh design research design methodology uh throughout uh elite institution in india not only as he teaches at iit delhi iit goa iit hyderabad yeah he is is one of the best thing that happened to me at iisc and next thing the place the exposure we get is uh, at next level like uh, i am at iit that, that is also quite good experience but uh, there, there is a level there level up over here uh, the people i am interacting with something always is happening in our mind even over at we, we are we we are speaking about the problems we are speaking about the technology this discussion seems to be very casual but but at a point they 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 bring something uh, to the table too that's wonderful jashwant and thank you for sharing that in such great detail so now let's talk about examination process and the admission into so if yeah. a beginner wants to join into his masters program in isc walk him through yeah. your journey of how did you apply what exams you wrote and how was your admission process and the experience related to admission process in isc sure sure uh, so a disclaimer uh, my examination process is going through when there is covid team around so few things may be different so i have seen through those because i, I have been in campus while our juniors are coming through so uh, i can walk through uh, there are two ways you can get here uh, actually cpd and center for product design and manufacturing presently changed to department of design and manufacturing uh, so we can get through gate and see uh, so there is there is some uh, qualifying mark uh, a cut off which you need to qualify once you reach that cut off there will be another examination called uh, design aptitude test it is conducted by uh, uh, department uh, design department of iisc so over there there will be an aptitude test uh, testing your testing your expert is in whatever field you are from are you from technical field do uh, you, you need to know uh, what is free body diagram how these uh, systems work kinematic systems and uh, these all systems work. if you are from a design background what, what is your uh, psychology into design what is how you address uh, a, a design problem and me personally i am an architect and my questions are mostly around uh, urban design uh, given a situation or scenario how do you design this specific building and one interesting question i got is uh, it like the, there is kind of rapid fire and I, i personally say i didn't do very well in that question the question is net and products which are uh, aesthetically good but functionally bad and i'm like out of zone but yeah we need to know this because we are designers in the end and that design critique is what makes us designers the, the actually the test uh, made me learn many things and once uh, you are through this aptitude test there will be a quick interview with a couple of professors who are actually teaching over there and then another list comes out i i i faintly remember but uh, it is almost 70% uh, weightage of your gate or uh, seat score and 30% weightage of the design aptitude test but uh, i i suggest going going back to the website and check once that's wonderful so once all this process is done also yeah. is there any portfolio test or something like that like wherein professors check your portfolio and work so it is good to have a portfolio uh, it drives our discussion in interviews 
but mostly the thing is uh, on spot they'll ask you to sketch something they'll ask you a question where uh, keeping you in a context and uh, to understand how how uh, your ideology or how your thought process works actually not ideology how your thought process works that that is what they check but having a portfolio it is good to have okay wonderful so once we have spoken about admission now let's talk about college fee structure and yeah. were you in hostel or were you outside campus how was the whole experience like so it's a fantastic experience actually uh fee structure i would say you are into iis you are already an achiever and i frankly say there is no fee okay uh, there, there are nominal fees uh, which uh, we need, we need to pay towards the administration and that is that is very basic and uh, you will be getting a uh, stipend from mh county of a certain amount uh, it is 1400 as of now i guess so it it will be uh, you will be getting that monthly so that covers your whole experience at uh, so expenses at iis actually so there is no load upon you to think about your finances just think about getting into uh, that specific department that is if you are there it is sorted that's wonderful so how is like the hostel life or if you have stayed outside how is that experience like uh in much days in hostel there are enough hostels over there and actually they are expanding as of now so there are more hostels coming up uh the person uh, each individual who is in masters and phd they get their uh, own room and uh, hostel is nice there are there is a housekeeping team and it is more about environment over there lush green environment always cool uh banging is already cool actually but iis is different zone like uh, the rays penetrate to it it is it is a beauty beautiful experience like we can't actually describe through words and lots of words uh, to explain this the walks are wonderful the discussions while happening through those walks that is also wonderful it has his uh, iis it has its own uh, natural habitat i would say like uh, the alleys we at times we we used to get between those trees just walk just walk thinking about your subject your life whatever uh, it's a pleasant experience okay that's wonderful so now let's talk about post education experience which is like yeah. the placements and all so mm-hmm. does campus assist you with any sort of placement or how is your experience in terms of getting a job after getting passed out of your masters program uh so there is a placement uh, department it is called ocap they foresee the placement process for all departments in iis not specifically for design but there are multiple departments so for everything in iis as a well, they foresee the placement process and uh first thing if you are getting into iis coming come with the mindset of exploring like uh that is what uh, iis brings you to the table you can you can uh, explore through design research user research uh, marketing research you can explore through high technology product design you can explore into automotive design there there are multiple things and uh placement for design it purely depends on the necessity in the market it goes well all throughout but i doesn't guarantee you that something comes to the campus which with matches uh, your portfolio you could be a automotive designer and you are the only one in your batch with that automotive automotive portfolio you cannot uh, ask whole design department of some benz or airbus to come to the campus to hire you uh, your expertise needs to come over there but this being aside uh, placements are fairly good uh we we get uh industry standard packages on par with uh top uh design organizations like microsoft cisco and everyone in the industry and actually uh in, during our time google came for internships for placements there is mathworks uh there is uh british petroleum there is, there is uh wongdudi there is tcs 
there is adverb and few people are into zenga that is game design and and actually few few people did switch for placements because there is something bigger they they want to pursue like one person i specifically remember is purely working on developing medical devices uh he's the working uh, i don't like exactly where he is now but he is working with something uh he's working with end service as of now to develop few medical devices so it is more about uh mindset of where and how you are creating impact yes placements is important but it is more about impact that's wonderful yes sir so before we conclude wanted to understand how did design education has shaped you into a better designer sure yeah initial phases of my design i am very intuitive designer okay i feel it i do it this is beautiful i do it oh this is looking wonderful let me try it out like where the function is okay let the function fit in somewhere but let's explore things uh but there are also certain as- aspects where i'm purely working in with hospitals and only aspect is function like that is a template this number of uh, 100 bedded hospital let me follow this template that is where uh, my design process used to be but once i am in iisc it is a disciplined way like i got design discipline is what i need to say uh i have a design okay i don't have a problem but i have a design what is impact it is creating i need to get back to see what is the problem it is solving i need to get back and see. uh other way my observation skills are uh, developed and like i started seeing into the problems uh, a person is facing something i i noted down actually Le- latest experience i am traveling uh, to bangalore i am in railway station i am observing things and actually noting in my mobile because that comes back and helps me somewhere like people are using trolley bags how they are working around with trolley bags are they holding two trolley bags if they have a trolley bag if they want to have a chai how, how are they managing that if they have a trolley bag they want to have a chai but they also want to have a mobile which is like basic need today how they are managing with them this is where i am observing the details as of now like people are very much integral part of my design thinking uh, process as of now and uh, because yeah at the end of the day it is user and other thing the market thinking is one thing i am adopting to myself uh, isc fairly help me and mostly new product development course like i have started thing is it already in the market how novel it is how viable it is if i am trying to create a business out of it these are these are the questions i am imposing for myself which earlier maybe i don't think uh, much uh, earlier it is like okay i created something yeah i am the best but now there are people out there who are doing wonderful things and uh, we need to see what is happening we need to learn and yeah that is where i prioritized myself to be as a researcher in design process and i am working as a ux researcher uh, to to uh, pick these things observe these things and uh, create impact in design process as well. that is where i am that's a wonderful journey uh, thank you so much jashwan for joining us today and folks who say about want to connect to jashwan i'll be attaching his linkedin down below if you have any doubts or anything related to exam or the process or his journey please feel free to reach out jashwan the, the links are there in the description below with that thank you so much once again jashwan for joining us at d education yeah. thank you very much tez and congratulations on your new book notes of design yeah thank uh, you so much it, it 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 is i have the book i am going through it and uh, i haven't completed it but the part i have seen yeah it is very crisp it is like a handbook for any designer who is going to start or uh, in the journey of design yeah that is wonderful thing you got it yeah. yeah thank you so much man thanks everyone for watching and with that we'll see you there in another episode with another design student clearing all your design doubts related to education So with that thank you once again Jashwin